Good morning or afternoon. Today, for science, we're going to start learning about magnets. And in order to do that, I'm going to read an article to, to you from News ELA. It's called, Don't Put Magnets in Your Mouth, Many Warn. In this illustration, we see 14-year-old Kristen Rivas. I'm going to read the caption underneath the picture. If you remember, that is the information underneath the picture that tells you what is going on in the picture or more information about it. Christina, Kristen Rivas, 14, is a seventh grader at Delora Middle School. She poses for a portrait on December 3rd, 2013 in Satellite Beach, Florida. Rivas recently swallowed a pair of small round magnets by accident and had part of her intestines removed last weekend as a result. Her mother, Barbara, wants to warn others before Christmas that these toys are harmful. The picture was taken by Joe Burbank in Orlando Centennial, or from the Orlando Centennial, which is a newspaper company. In Orlando, Florida, it's not just little kids who get into trouble with magnets. Older kids can get hurt by them also. Kristen Rivas found this out the hard way. The 14-year-old was playing with magnets at school. She needed both hands to grab something, <clears throat> so she put the magnets in her mouth. Someone made her laugh and gulp. She swallowed them. Five days later, Kristen was in the hospital. Doctors took the magnets out. Along with the magnets, doctors removed part of her colon. The colon is beneath the stomach. It's part of the body system to break down food. Playing with magnets. Many magnet toys include warnings. They tell people not to put magnets in their mouth or noses, but that has not stopped a growing number of kids from doing that. Kids swallow a lot of objects, said Dr. Tiaz Mehta. He is a doctor at Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children. Dr. Mehta cared for Rivas. Magnets cause more damage than anything else. Magnet injuries have become much more common between 2002 and 2011, a doctor said. 22,500 kids had to go to the hospital. Usually, the kids swallowed the magnets, but a quarter of these kids put the magnets up their nose, said Julie Brown. She's a doctor in Seattle. The magnet problem is getting worse, she said. There is something very tempting about magnets, Brown said. To toddlers, magnets could look like sprinkles. Older kids also like magnets. They use them to pre pretend they have a pierced tongue or nose. Taken to the hospital, some doctors don't know how magnets can be a serious problem. When Kristen swallowed the magnets, her mom took her to the hospital. A doctor said the magnet would leave her body when she pooped. He sent them home. This didn't sound right to her mom. She read about magnet injuries on the internet, and they got scared. She took Kristen to another hospital. There, the doctors tracked the magnets with an x-ray machine. The magnets looked stuck, so the doctors decided to operate. The doctors safely removed them, but... The operation can cause health problems later on. Don't even think about touching them or buying magnets, Kristen said. I messed up my intestines. I worry about that down the road. Over the next few days, you should be logging on to your science book online, which is the Pearson pile in your MySCS and going through the magnets lesson. In there, you'll be talking about or reading about the um, north and south poles of magnets and how sometimes magnets can attract to one another, which means they stick together, and sometimes they repel one another, which means they push away from each other. If you have magnets on your refrigerator or somewhere else, you can experiment with this on your own by trying to put the magnetic part of the magnets together 
and seeing if they are positive or negative, also known as north and south poles, and see whether they push together or, or I'm sorry, if they stick together or push apart. Let me know what you discover.